Thank you for letting us interview you, Minister, and uh, congratulations on coming into government. Thank you. Now, your party has gained power on an extraordinary list of promises to the electorate. Yes. I have to ask, are you sincere about those promises? Oh, absolutely. They are extremely ambitious. Well, of course. What's the point of being in government unless you're ambitious? For example, uh, you promised to eradicate all poverty, to wipe out the national debt, to end all conflicts in which the country is involved, and to eliminate all diseases dealt with by the health system. Yes. Do you seriously believe you can do all of that? Probably not, no. No? No. Then why promise it? Well, we wouldn't have got elected if we hadn't promised it. So, you only got elected because you promised things that you know that you cannot deliver. Of course. That's how anyone ever gets elected. But what if all the other parties promised things they knew they couldn't deliver? They did. They just didn't promise as much as we did. So, you're telling me that the only way a party can win an election is by promising on the Holy Bible that they will do things they know they can't possibly do. Well, not on the Holy Bible, no. Ah, so you wouldn't try and deceive God. Well, few of us believe in God anyway, and he's made even more of a mess of things than we have. We just wouldn't want to offend those who do believe in him. By making promises you can't keep? Yes. Then why do people vote for you in that case? I've told you, because we make better impossible promises than anyone else. So let me get this straight. The only way to win power in a democracy is by telling the electorate that you can do things that you cannot possibly do. Yes, that's right. Well, isn't that an appalling admission? Well, you'd have to ask the electorate that. They're the ones who vote for us. You are accusing all those millions of viewers watching this program of being naive idiots who vote for con men who are pulling the wool over their eyes. We're not conning them. They know perfectly well we can't deliver our promises. What? Well, of course. I mean, who could possibly deliver that list of incredible promises in such a ludicrously short time span? Only a complete idiot would believe that. But you've just said they are complete idiots. Yes, but not for believing that nonsense. For what, then? For blaming us afterwards for not delivering the nonsense. I'm sorry. I'm very confused. You're asserting that the voters of this country elect people to rule over them who know they can't deliver what they say they can deliver simply because... Because... It's undeliverable. It's called the triumph of hope over experiment. Over experience? Yes, that too. Well, that's a very bleak message, Minister. You're saying, in fact, that there is no hope. Yes. I mean, no. And all your fellow politicians feel the same? Probably not. They're all fools, too. What? Well, obviously. I mean, you have to be an idiot to embark on a career that pays far less than you can earn elsewhere and incurs a lifetime of abuse from the public because you can't deliver impossible promises. So then you're an idiot yourself? Completely bonkers. I'm utterly bewildered. I'm dumbfounded. I can't believe what a politician tells me ever again. Well, there we are. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, by the way. Yes? We're going to abolish all taxation, too. Really? Well, that's good. 